what is up everybody welcome back to the channel guys we uh we gotta cover some stuff today regarding my car yeah not project four to eight we're actually out here delivering some parts to the shop for project four to eight big update on project four to eight coming um but uh we need to talk about the other car the coyote swap car so that's what we're doing today let's go <laughs> boys so here is the deal and i'll kind of elaborate on what we're talking about we're headed over to uh steve's shop because uh cory's four eye is getting a roll cage and uh yeah that kind of got me to thinking a little bit but so basically the debate is how far am i going to go with my car like you know Corey's car has a power glide in it a nine inch um you know it's it's pretty basic it's it, it is it is purpose built uh to go fast down the quarter mile or eighth mile or what have you um now it's 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 still a very streetable car but you know for him to be able to do what he wants to do it, the car's got to have a cage and you know since my car is, is very close as far as uh et and trap speed and all that to his car and of course, we're always getting faster with, you know, the addition of upgrades and stuff like that. Um, you know, I'm basically going to be at that same place too. You know, once, once the gear and the two-step and some of the other stuff um, find their way onto my car, um, you know, I'm going to be at the point where track officials are going to essentially say, you know, take that thing home and, you know, don't come back till you put a cage in it. Um, and I don't know if I want to do that, to be honest, especially to this car. So we're going to head over. We're going to check out uh, Corey's cage and then, uh, I don't know, try to make a decision here as far as what we're going to do as it relates to my car. All right, boys, here we go. So this is what uh, Steve has got going on with Corey's car and uh, essentially doing, he's doing a full cage. I don't, I think at the end of the day, it's going to be about a 10 point. You see, you got the hoop, and then you've got your rear down bars, and then you're gonna have your down bars right here, and uh, gonna have. Uh, I can't remember if he says these are gonna connect into the subframe connectors or exactly how, and then of course your your door bars. Uh, so pretty much going full roll cage, guys. So I'm kind of thinking, at what point do I stop? You know, because this car, guys, this is, you know, obviously this was a, a V6 car. It wasn't even, an, uh, you know, originally a GT and was basically built up, you know, over its life and obviously has the Coyote and Nitrous and all that. My car was original V8, you know, not like anything's, you know, original on it now, but it's like, uh, do I do I do this? to my car or do I just, you know, start over with another car, you know, maybe a four cylinder car. I don't know, but uh, this definitely got me thinking and Steve is killing the roll cage, y'all. I gotta get you a close up here. Steve is killing the roll cage. This is gonna be very nice. You notice he's got these little bars right here too. I love it. This is gonna look really good. Got the gussets right there. I am by no way a cage builder, boys, but. That's pretty freaking tight. It looks good. It'll be very nice. All right, boy. You can see all the interior and stuff that's out of the out of Corey's car. Basically, all of that stuff in the hatch brought the car up where it's sitting now. There's quite a bit of stuff in the back of the car, so car definitely uh, gonna drop some weight there. But I gotta get back to the shop. But I want to stop by and check this out, guys, because it kind of ties into the theme for today as far as, you know, how far do you want to take your car, how fast you're going to go, because at some point, you're going to have to start doing stuff like that. Right, guys so let's kind of talk about this for a minute if 
if you put a roll cage in your car, it doesn't necessarily make it a race car. Um, just like, you know, anything else. Uh, the problem comes in is where do you actually draw the line? And with my car, I'm really not 100% sure where to draw the line. Uh, I didn't build my car to be a race car. I don't want a race car. I don't want a dedicated track-only car. That doesn't really interest me. What I dig is street cars. I like cars that, you know, they go fast down the track, but you could also pull up next to them at any stoplight, anywhere, anytime, and basically get your ass handed to you because it's a quick street car. That's what I'm into. Um, so, you know, going full race with my car is not something that I want to do. Um, with the exception of there is some upgrades that I, w I do want to do to the car. And at this point already, the car is fast enough to get kicked out of the track, which leaves me kind of at a, at a crossroads, I guess you could say, with the car. So, well, guys, let's think about it. Like, this car that, that we're building right now, this is, you know, Lee's Notch. This thing will be capable of going low nines on the quarter mile. Maybe faster. I don't know. Um, you know, but you think about it. This car doesn't have a cage and probably will not have a cage. And then the, the convertible that we did for him also has essentially the exact same setup, albeit with a, a six-speed manual. Um, but again, low nine-second, if not faster, capable. And it didn't have a cage. So technically, I don't have to put anything in the car. But if I'm going to run at the track and you know, do the, do the different videos and stuff showing you guys how fast the car is, how fun it is, um, then I'm going to have to meet safety requirements. All right, boys, and I know what you're saying. You're, you're thinking to yourself, well, why don't you just build another car? Uh, guys, I don't want to build another car. I, I don't want to, uh, I can't really say that at this point with everything that's going on that it, it's even going to happen, you know, Basically, with as busy as, as we are here at the shop, there's no, there's little to no opportunity to work on our own stuff, you know, let alone another full-on build. Um, and again, I'm not 100% sure that, that I want to. You know, my car, at, at the point we got into the tens, um, you know, that's where, that's where the cutoff was. You know, my, my original goal was to go tens with a truck, with a, you know, with a stock truck motor, throttle body to oil pan. And um, we're like two tenths away from doing that. But yeah, guys, in a nutshell right now, another another major, like a swap build for me is just not in the cards. Um, I don't know. It's just, uh, with so much going on, guys, all the traveling and stuff like that, uh, I don't really know. There, There is some, when I say a major build, I'm talking about a front rear, you know, some, some stuff like this and, and like Jeremy's car and, you know, like a full swap build that that's kind of what i'm talking about um i don't see one of those happening in the foreseeable future there is some stuff coming but it's not major builds it's you know i can't talk about that right now we'll we'll just put it that way so that's kind of where i'm at guys um i don't know you tell me drop me a comment below you know where do you draw the line do you want to build a race car and let you know let's be realistic guys if, if i was going to go that route then all the extra money and time that um you know, was put in to put air and power steering and hydro boost and all this other stuff on the car is basically a complete waste. I mean, literally a complete freaking waste. And that was not cheap. And that was very, very time consuming to do. So I don't know, guys, drop me a comment below. Let me know what you think. All right, guys. So this is kind of where my head's at. If, if, if I'm going to do, if we're going to do a full dedicated, you know, let's cut it up and put a cage and we're going to do everything. Um, you know, I, I'm going to start with something like this. So essentially, you know, basically do everything and, you know, make it purpose built. Oh, I thought that door was open. You know, make it a purpose built race car. That's kind of where my head is at. I don't really think that taking a street car apart is going to be the best thing. You guys, if you haven't seen this car, it's, it's got black interior. <laughs> yeah, it's got black interior. No, you can't have it. No, it's not for sale. But, um, you know, I'm going to take a four-cylinder car like this and do that with that. Or, you know, better yet, the, the 79 over here. Yes, this is a 79, boys, if you didn't catch the video where we talked about this one. I mean, this is what you, this is what you would do something like that. Um, and those doors are really tight. I don't know that I'd even make this a race car. But, 
you know, something more along these lines is what I'm going to do as far as making a race car. Look at that guy. Sorry, I got distracted. That's pretty freaking cool right there. But, uh, boys, it's hard to say. And again, guys, another, another classic example here. You know, this car is, you know, an X4 cylinder car. And, you know, someone essentially started to make this into a race car. And... You know, kind of blocked off the vents and did the, the lightweight door panels and, you know, cluster out. <sighs> yeah, this is, you know, this is how I see myself building, you know, a car as, as light as possible, as safe as possible to get down the track. And I just don't see myself doing that, doing that with my car to be honest with you and you know last and final thing is like all the maximum motorsport suspension and stuff like that i wouldn't have done all that you know that's something i would have you know done something lighter something more drag oriented i'm not 100 sure what but i wouldn't have done you know the heavier more road race style suspension so once again another issue so there you go guys drop me a comment below and i know if you're a car guy you've probably run into the same thing you know what what form does your car take on is it a show car is it just a cruiser is it your daily driver is it a race car is it a street strip and when you get to the point where you kind of have to decide what it's going to be you know what what is the main focus of this car uh, that's when you have to start making sacrifices the car's fast it's getting faster and uh, for me to legally and safely run it as fast as i want to go I'm gonna have to make some changes. So do I back off? Do I go full steam ahead and you know throw in a cage and drag more, more drag style suspension? I don't know, guys, I don't know. As you can clearly tell, I'm going back and forth. So that is what is up, guys. Uh, drop me a comment below, let me know what you think. Uh, in the meantime, uh, I gotta get back parts chasing and uh, yes, Ford Takeover is still on. Make sure you're there, it's gonna be an awesome time. Hopefully all this stuff blows over, which I think it will, so. Hope everyone is doing well, and uh, we're never going to stop. I promise I'll always have fresh content for you, keep you entertained while you're bored and uh, waiting out all this nonsense. So please give me a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Make sure you smash that subscribe button if you haven't, and I'll catch you next week. Later, guys.